Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler V, Series V, as I've been doing for a little while now. Go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, tell them I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. This was just fortuitous, because honestly, I just went out to go over there and grab some uh, supplies and just happened upon this. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to around about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing grody work clothes. Folks, typically when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means that I was on my way home from work. I found some shit to review for you. That is definitely the case today. Like I said, uh, I got off work a little bit ago. We were working the weekend. And I was like, man, I need supplies. You know, I was going to go out yesterday, but I was like, ah, bleh. So, finally convinced myself to go do it today. Went out, grabbed a few things. And as I'm, like, getting ready to leave, like, I really, you know, I usually try to kind of keep an eye open for stuff to potentially review. This time was more kind of just the supply thing, but, you know, I'm just kind of popping an eye here there. And as I'm about to leave and go check out, I find something over by one of the registers. What is it, folks? What am I doing for you? It happens to be, boom, it's some Fritos. Specifically, they are ranch-flavored Fritos of the Yellowstone Edition. They're flavored corn chips. Yay! I don't know, man. I don't know that I've ever had ranch Fritos. Apparently, these were a thing at one point, and then they went away, and then they've been brought back for the Yellowstone thing. I have no association with the Yellowstone stuff. I'm not, nothing against it just not into it, um, but I know it's a thing that people like, and, uh, I mean, ranch corn chips seems like a weird combo, but ugh, ranch is good, corn chips are good, so first and foremost, let's get a, a thing for the thing, it looks like this, ha 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 ha, let's go ahead and try it out, and yeah, I am extra grody, by the way, because I didn't get off, I didn't get out of work until three minutes after my time, and I was just like, couldn't be bothered to go through the full cleanup process. It was just like, I just want to go buy stuff and then go home. I'll shower when I get inside. They mostly just smell like corn chips. You know what, though? I'm going to say this. I am saddened by this because here's the thing. One thing I've always really liked about Fritos is that they tend to give you a good amount in the back. And if you watch my show long enough, you know... I bitch about that all the time, because fucking chip companies, they've been ripping us off for years and years now. Bags keep getting more expensive, we keep getting less. Here's the Fritos. Here's how many Fritos I'm actually getting. That pisses me off. That really pisses me off. They fucked with my Fritos. But, let's at least try it out. We'll just try one to start, and then we'll... Yeah, it's definitely a ranch Frito. Maybe I have had these before. It tastes very familiar. Um, maybe I'm just thinking like ranch bugles. They definitely have a very similar kind of taste. Uh, and I did review ranch bugles, by the way. In fact, I did a comparison versus uh, ranch bugles versus Hidden Valley ranch bugles. Go watch that video. It's from like two or three years ago now. Um, yeah, I mean, they're nice. They're Fritos. I like Fritos as a general rule of thumb. The ranch flavor is nice. It's very immediate. Uh, it's not something that, you know, takes its time to kind of build up. You kind of get hit with it pretty hard right off the bat. It's another thing I like about Fritos. They, they tend to carry a lot of flavor. Um, in terms of, you know, I mean, other than that, it's a Frito. And once you kind of, I would say once you get maybe like 80% of the way through, with the overall chip, that's about the time when the uh, the ranch flavor has somewhat dissipated, and you kind of get the corn chip flavor, and that's a good thing. You know, corn chips are good. But yeah, actually, these are really nice. Like, I'm not... I'm down with these. Um... The ranch flavor, I really do have to emphasize, 
it is a punchy ranch flavor. But it's interesting because it's probably a little bit different than sort of like the Doritos ranch flavor. Whereas with Doritos ranch flavor, you know, they emphasize the cool ranch. With this, you're getting more sort of like, um, you do get a cohesive ranch flavor, but I'm getting more individual elements that kind of make up, you know, ranch overall flavoring. Kind of elements of like garlic and sort of herbs and stuff like that a little bit. It all, again, it all comes together to make that ranch flavor, but it's just interesting that it's different from something like Doritos, which is, you know, a pretty similar product. They might even be made by the same fucking company, for all I know. Um, yeah, I like these. These are really good. I mean, you're not going to miss that ranch flavor. You know, it's... These could not these could not be any other flavor than ranch. And I do appreciate that because, you know, a lot of times when companies do these things and stuff like that, you know, they don't give a shit. They're just trying to make money off you. And I've certainly, and I've definitely reviewed plenty of them over the years, plenty of times when I've tried out flavored chips that frankly didn't deliver on the flavor. But these, that's not the case. They're tasty, they're good. I was, like I said, I was a little bit worried about the ranch mixing with the corn aspect, but I think maybe that's why they kind of did the ranch the way they did. Again, it's sort of less of a cool ranch flavor. You know, maybe to kind of give it, blend it a little bit better. So it's not as jarring a transition when you go from the ranch to the uh, the corn chips. But, yeah, man, these are really good. I think, uh, I'm definitely down with these. But, two questions have to be asked. Would I get them again? Would I recommend them? Um, I'm going to go with yes and yes. I mean, I'll say this. My biggest point of contention with these is, again, that they're starting to cheap out on this. That really does piss me off. And I think that's something that, you know, I, I kind of joke about it a little bit. But, like, honestly, it really does bother me. And it's not just because I'm a fat guy and I want to eat chips. It really does come down to, you know, how companies... I'm not trying to go on a whole rant, but it's about how companies go over there and they try to nickel and dime us, you know? If they can skate a little bit off and make a little bit more, that's all they care about. It bugs the piss out of me, man, because we're already getting nickeled and dimed. We're not even getting nickeled and dimed. We're getting freaking singles and fives and tens and twenties at this point, man. You know, we're getting... But anyway, again, I don't want to rant. But no, I actually do really like these a lot. I think, uh, you know, sort of in my pantheon of Fritos flavors... For me, probably, I love the Mexican street corn ones. I think those are really good. I love the jalapeno cheddar. I think those are really good. Um, I am thinking of Cheetos, not Fritos. My apologies. Uh, honey barbecue would probably be my favorite, with chili cheese being slightly below that. Then there's also, like, the Nashville Hot, which, by the way, I did uh, review those. So go look up that review if you're interested. I think I probably like these more than I like the Nashville Hot. I think they, I think they encapsulate the flavor nicely, and, you know, dumpy white guy from the Midwest, man, fucking ranch pretty much flows through my veins, although it wasn't enough to make me like ranch-flavored ice cream. I did review that, too. Go look it up. If I'm recommending these, ideally, if you could get a bag that's more full, that would be nice, but, um, yeah, I think I would actually recommend these. I think they're really tasty. I don't know how long they're going to be around. Again, you know, they've got the Yellowstone Association. I don't know if it's going to be a limited run thing or, you know, maybe if it does well, they'll incorporate it back in. That'd be nice. I think more Frito flavors is a good idea. But I think that, you know, if you like ranch and you like corn chips, that's really all there is to it. And I think that they went over there and did a good job of representing the ranch, having the ranch be sort of its own unique blend of ranch compared to, again, certain other, you know, chips and stuff like that. And then at the end of the day, Fritos are good. So, yeah, I'd recommend them. Final two, or five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your year, folks. Go with there, have yourselves a truly ranchtastic rest of your life. Because ranch is, again, it's good. It's not for everybody, but, you know, you don't have to be for everybody. Don't try to please everybody all the time. That's just, hell, fucking don't try to please most of the people. You know, just do your thing. Just try to be, you know. Final two things. <laughs> Number one. Try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But 
What you do if you can't do it all the time? I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. <sighs> Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, I, you know, what I'd like you to do is stand up for your consumer rights. Because we do have rights as consumers. You know, I mean, I mean, you know, I can only speak on behalf of the country that I'm part of. You know, but there are certain standards and things and stuff, and I'm not saying the companies fucking live by them. In fact, they get sued all the time because they try to skirt that shit. But at least in theory... And man, like, and again, I'm not going to, you know, go on full on rant mode, but God, does that bug the piss out of me, man? Because it's just literally just watched it my entire life. Just dwindle down, dwindle down, dwindle down. For fuck's sake, we can't even have Fritos anymore. Really? Frito-Lay? We can't, we can't have Frito. That's your namesake product. We can't have fucking Fritos the way that we deserve them to. Anyway, bye.